We'll be ready for launch. Okay, your voice is very attractive. I need to get out of here. <laughs> hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. The last episode, we unfortunately lost Ryder's father, Alec Ryder, but it seems like the Andromeda Initiative is an entire disaster because the other arcs didn't really make it, or they got lost, or they were attacked by aliens. Just the whole thing is a mess. And now the Pathfinder title falls onto us, my writer. And I, I'm wondering what's gonna happen next because that's a huge responsibility for someone who has no idea what they're doing. Anyway, let's continue the let's play. I wonder if I should go talk to that um, Turian that got locked up. Just to show you guys like a side mission. Cause like I said, I'm not typically gonna be recording them. I'll probably just do them off camera. That's just my personal uh, preference, but I'll show you guys this one help you? Pathfinder Ryder, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. I want to know why Nilka, he's being convicted of murder. The There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Wife says you're innocent. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it and that she loves you. She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. Mm -hmm. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Oh. Everyone saw. Okay, so then what happened? Did he attack you first? Because if he attacked you first, then it's self-defense. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement. Thought it was the cat and... Oh, uh, accidental fire. Misfire. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. Oh no, so it was unintentional. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them, but I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. So it makes okay. them look guilty. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Oh, no. See, here's the thing. Like, I don't know well, how you would respond to this because clearly there's no government yet. And we're going to be the ones deciding that just kind of like how the Citadel is back in the Milky Way. But on top of that... It's kind of like his word against everyone else's. It can happen when you panic and you accidentally shoot someone. So I want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. And that just maybe be me being like really like big hearted or something like that. But I feel like he's kind of sincere in what he's saying. So I don't think it's like a huge lie. It's just like obviously not the evidence can be damning. And that's like for any case, right? Evidence can be like... uh tampered with too so that's a thing i don't know if i'm doing the wrong thing but i feel like it, it shouldn't just be like that don't throw on the towel yet i'll review the evidence maybe i can find something that'll help that would be great you're a pathfinder i'm sure kandros would give you access maybe there's still hope no news on the Turian arc yet or is this militia business the murder case i spoke with nilkin rensis the man found guilty of the murder on eos Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Uh, okay, so I guess that the, the reason why they, they were so quick to pin murder on him, aside from the obvious, is because they don't want morale to be down since it's already down already. But I feel like that's kind of not fair, even though you're trying to keep morale up. It's it's unfair. Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. You didn't trust him? And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. All right. Bye, Kandros. I want to see. Calls. Maybe I am wrong and I'm being too fun. nice. So playback recording. Speak to Shaw. Who's Shaw at? 
Wait, is this it? The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Ooh. Get him off me, get him off me. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over. I like her hair. <laughs> Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Whoa, were the cat there? Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Oh, oh no, that makes it even worse. Did Nilkin regret it? Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Why was the chief shock? If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's oh, the Oh, they're best part. friends! The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Do you agree with the Chief? Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Okay, thank you. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Hmm. Maybe that's our cue to actually see it for ourselves anyway i do have to speak to director tan so uh i'm gonna go speak with him uh and also the voice of director tan sounds like someone very familiar I, and i'm wondering if it's kunal nanjani because it seems like it is <laughs> he's done, this is the he's done video games before habitat seven it wasn't even close to livable that's been true of every world we found Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition uh, alright. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. Well, thank you. To that end, the scourge is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way. Yet, it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then mm. there's the aliens you ran into. The Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing Oh, that's them. actually very it interesting. murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Ooh. Honestly, dude, like, I know that's kind of your job, but like, is this really the time to be like an ass? The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, Maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. Yeah, call him out. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. <laughs> Solarians, Wait, man! They're such assholes! They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. 
And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> oh, what's happening? Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. Uh, okay. No. I'm fine. Alright, um... Hey, can I talk about the murder case with you? Ryder, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. Thanks. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. I feel like they must be out there. At least some of them. They all can't be destroyed. I want to think that they're still out there. It's just they didn't land where they were supposed to. They were. They might have been knocked off course. You know? And something else that they just mentioned in that previous conversation. So they were saying that whole dark matter wasn't there before uh, when they were scouting Andromeda back in the Milky Way. But it happens to be around all the planets that they were planning to live on. And then the cats show up. And remember how that, that leader, I don't know, the guy with the halo looking thing? He came up and was trying to copy what Ryder was doing to unlock. And now I'm kind of curious. If we end up going on all of those planets... What if we see the same kind of tech on those planets as well? Like, they were, they were mining the energy from Habitat 7. So they're probably trying to mine all the energies from the other planets, and they probably didn't want anyone to go there. And that could explain the Scourge blocking everybody from landing over. The, not them, they probably didn't know that people from the Milky Way were coming over, just anyone in general. They didn't want them coming to these planets because they wanted it for themselves. And now it's a matter of figuring out what the hell is that energy on these planets. I hope I'm right because I'm kind of excited. Like if, if it seems to be like they have similar technology all over the place. It's kind of like how the protein beacons are all over the place as well. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an... Unflattering. I feel like it's an already. Did you have some other business? Or... Oh, okay, the the murder charge. I'm looking into the Nilk and Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The body can reveal. Uh, okay, uh, I'm not sure he did. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure yet. I'm hoping it proves something else happened. This case has been a political nightmare. With all we've been through, the people need stability. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Okay, we didn't get to talk to you really, so let me talk with you. Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. Yeah, I kind of got that. The scourge <laughs> killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. Okay, also, can I just throw this out there? I feel like G.N. is not dead. I don't know why I'm just getting this vibe. She might, might have faked her death or she's just missing. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership, when the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kandros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. Oof. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. That is what everybody was Exiles, talking about. Yeah. we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Uh, okay. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. Where are the Krogan? There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. Oh. 
The Krogan demanded a greater say in political <laughs> matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. That's fucked Good up. for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. I mean, I don't blame them for leaving. It's like the same thing back in the Milky Way. They're still treated like shit. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Not all Long of them. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Because they had no Their choice. decimated. My people tried to uplift them. Oh, no. But the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. That's, uh, that's, it's ironic that he's saying the Krogans are ignorant when he, in turn, is being ignorant, too. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the I hope you guys don't mind me asking so many as questions. I just want to make sure I have all the lore down. <laughs> she was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Carson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Mm -hmm. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the oh mix. Oh my god, dude, you As and your hate for Krogan. to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Um. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here, or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. I think the reason why is just, like, his ego is high, and, like... I guess because Salarians are kind of blunt, at least the ones that we've met, they're kind of brutally honest about things. And I, I, if I remember, Morden was like that just because like he didn't have time to deal with anything. You know, Salarians' short lifespan and everything, he just wanted to get it out in the open, to be honest. So like, I, I guess it's just their attitude. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other yeah, until a decision like is it. made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line. So he was all. just next, yeah. So you're an accountant? <laughs> Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. Um... Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No. And that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. So it was just If they have the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. Oh! It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. 
Managing all of their biological needs cause complications. Oh. We won't see them for some time to come. Interesting. Okay, well, that is true. I mean, it is normal for coins to, like, live on ships anyway. They already do that. Uh, but, yeah, it is true because th their, their type of species is the one that has difficulty adapting to new environments because of how their immune system is. So that is interesting that they're not included in this. Which kind of sucks, though, because I would like to see Quarians in this, so they're not here yet. But... Depending on the ending that we gave in Mass Effect 3, if we did the synthesis ending, for example, um, they would be immune to everything. Like, their immune system would be perfectly fine. So, you know. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority. Yeah, for I have any to scan pathfinder. things. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I have a lot to learn. I was afraid you'd ask. <laughs> it's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. Thanks. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. All right. Bye. All right. So it seems like I leveled up, which I, I kind of need to like work on things. So uh, barrier. Barrier would be one of them. Let's get maximum of that. I'm gonna give it to my sniper rifle. I know I don't have a sniper rifle yet, but I really do like using them in the Mass Effect universe. So I'm hoping that it will be good in, in uh, Andromeda, but we'll see. Oh, I can go through here now. I gotta talk with Sam though. He said he wanted to talk in private, so. Oh, hey, Cora. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. I'm fine. And Addison, first Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence. Addison wasn't my favorite. Which one was Addison? Nothing I couldn't handle. Her reaction was understandable. I mean, in a sense, I do understand that they've been trapped here for a long time, but it's no reason to take it out on me. She understands the stakes. If I fail, we... You won't. Oh. Let's hope Thanks, not. Thanks, Cora. <laughs> you won't. That's the end of it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. Okay. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Right. Scott is still in stasis, so we gotta see him. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Okay, good. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Why the secrecy? I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. What does that mean? Alec overrode <laughs> the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder. Oh! Technology. And that's me now. Kind of like in a similar sense that Edie doesn't have any shockles when she took over the Normandy? skills when required. Alec called them profiles. Oh. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Uh, it could scare people. Secrecy breeds paranoia. I mean, yeah, it kind of does, but in a sense, I understand why they wouldn't want panic. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious, like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So, what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Uh, I'm gonna just say, wow. That's pretty Because I don't see all but AIs as a threat, okay? <laughs> you some would fear it. Yeah. He's got a point. Yeah, not everyone's so going to what does this mean for approve of that. We've seen that with the I find myself in an unusual position. 
Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Oh. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. <laughs> but not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Oh, he's probably like setting Perhaps it up so that when it's quarters, ready for Ryder to experience meantime, it, he will let her in. Your new ship mm. Thanks. Okay, so profile allows Sam to reconfigure Ryder's implants in super superior battlefield performance when you select it and press activate. Uh, invest in combat tech and biotic skills and unlock more powerful profiles of various in styles. Cool. All right, so that's another thing that we get. Um, interesting. Anyway, we're gonna go see Scott at. Where is he? Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Uh, thank you. This is my room, huh? Well, this used to be Dad's room, I should say. Oh, the Normandy! Pick that up. Memory? What the hell? Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. <gasps> what triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Oh. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock Oh, interesting. The so I gotta find it One and bring it back to Samnode. Is now accessible. Okay. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Sure. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a being. Oh, I didn't know that Alec made Sam. You know what humility feels like. Unless they said it and I wasn't paying attention, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. Archive systems. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Uh, okay. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Oh. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. So I was kind of right in a sense that Alec wasn't that close with his kids because he had to keep up like appearances. Huh. Liara? Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. She does. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. That's my girlfriend! <laughs> when my team used to dig up artifacts, we debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Dussoni's research onto data Oh my god, and they don't even know how right Liara is. Hello, Alex. <gasps> this is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists <laughs> dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Oh, I love hearing Liara's voice. You know how confident she is. <laughs> Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Aw, I miss my blueberry. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. Dr. Tapero says he'll be fine, but he's my son. How can I not worry? What? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever, which brings me to the tough part. Kids, 
If anything happens to me, there are things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. Uh oh. Sounds like not good things. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Okay, so in the encryption stuff, I, I can't freaking view, but what's this? I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. Oh, Liara. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. <laughs> oh, I love it! When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket I of mean, the galaxy I mean, we found one, Jave! <laughs> the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. I love hearing Liara's voice. I miss her. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that's not plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Hmm. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. Oh, yeah. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race oh. that was in harmony with its people. Oh, she doesn't know! This is when Liara was so Without naive! Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Right? And we fucking learned that from Jovic! <laughs> Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. That's so cool. I think that's all I can, like, look at for now, right? Yep. Oh, that's so cool, though. I love that we can hear Liara's, like, research. I always wanted to hear her stuff in Mass Effect, but we never got a chance with that. So it's, like, really cool to hear Liara, like, be so excited about talking about her research and stuff, because she's so passionate about it. Okay, let's, uh, view this memory that we got. The blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Okay, let's go. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Oh, this is actually so cool. I love that. We can learn more about the dad because I was hoping for this. Alec, your recommendation will never fly. Oh, we're seeing it through Artificial his- Artificial intelligence. That's so cool. It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Oh. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. 
But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together? Okay, so that's both. why he's, he's pitching this idea. There's no creator to revolt against. I have I'm sorry, comments. Alex. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. I guess it's kind of like what the Gosh. Reapers are. Isn't it control? Alec. Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I Wait, is that our mom? There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Oh, shit. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. Do you think that, the, aside from what he said about the AI, the main reason was he was hoping that this would get a cure for his wife? For Because I, I think she had cancer, I think that's what they said, right? But like, that's the reason why he was so pushing for this technology? I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Hmm. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Uh, oh, how's Scott? Do you know anything more about Scott's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. Damn. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Would you want, if we, because I feel like our technology is like getting to the point where AI is going to be very possible soon, but like, would you want something like this, like an implant that does have this symbi symbiotic relationship with your own body because like i just mentioned earlier this it sounds like a reaper like reaper technology and i guess that's what people was afraid of like having this to ai take over your own body kind of like how the reapers indoctrinate people and turn them into reapers themselves so i guess that's the fear of it but like seeing Edie, seeing the geth and legion and how you know that you can't just assume that all technology is bad. I do want to believe that Sam's whole intention is still good because it seems like he is helping um, Alec in everything that he's done so far. So like, that's why I'm asking you guys, if this was an actual like real thing, would you want this? Because low key, I think I would. I would help out in a lot of things and it's clear that Alec was trying to do this not only for a new technology, like I said, probably to help his wife. That's all for now. Of course. Okay, so I think I should really go to the ship, but I'm so sorry. I want to learn more about Alec because this is actually helping me out a lot. So apparently there's like another recording over here. Your father's personal logs. Oh, here we go. The wife. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. All right, time to see my ship. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that. Didn't stop me before a shipper! <laughs> but at least we'll be doing it in style. Let me see the ship. 
What's she looking like? They call Is that her? her the Tempest. Ooh. I love that she's a different design from the Normandy. I love that they're making it their own. I like that. Because they could have easily just made it something similar to the Normandy, right? Because we're familiar with it. But I'm glad that they're not. Nice. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. Whoa, wait, hello? We get so a you're female Turian? Everything happen. Hi! Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, then. Yeah. <laughs> let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Uh... Damn it. Is there a problem? Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Senior around. Ben, right? <laughs> what is she doing? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <laughs> Addison's gonna kill me. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. Okay, I like All her. All things considered, <laughs> it was an easy ask. She's pretty cool. Right now, you need people She's tearing dateable. down obstacles. <laughs> not putting up more. Ma'am, are you are you a part of the the LGBT? Finally, you know, get it? Stuff and not just talking about it. For me to romance you? <laughs> Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. Hi, Lexi. Sad that I cannot romance Lexi. You guys informed me. The engine that, core so. is based on the Ark's Odyssey <laughs> drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. Cool. All right. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, Hi! our science <laughs> officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Well, this is gonna be fun. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're this ready to fly, part. head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Who the hell is our pilot? Uh, okay, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to take away the 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 the, the you know the mood, but Ryder's face. Head My to the goodness. We're ready to go. <laughs> the meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just Wait, can I talk together. to everybody first? I want to talk to my crew. Hey, Liam! It's serious kid over here. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is. Especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. Cool. Options are good. We need more of those. For everybody. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Okay, so we can select some research or new blueprints. Uh, development, 
Craft equipment and nomad upgrades using blueprints you researched and materials you've gathered. Ah, and then we can get stuff. So we can develop these. So like that. Y'all got a sniper rifle is what I've been looking for. And then research. Oh, and these are arguments too. Oh, and then we can switch between categories. Oh, neat. Okay. Multi-way research and then Helios. Okay, so I okay, I know what to do then. Okay, that's that's neat. Alright. Who's in here? Hello? Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Cool. Okay, I like that Vetra's like telling me what room is room or which is which, because I, I need to know. That engine cool What's this room? That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, and keep any specimen safe. All right, cool. What about in here? Hi, I saw I'm you earlier. Out there, finally. Oh my god, I love her accent. She's got a Scottish accent. Hello, I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. Okay, your voice is very attractive. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I really need to get out of here. What's in here? Oh, this is the, the core of the engine. Cool. Hi, you're Gil, right? Hi there. Can we talk and stuff later? I've got some last minute adjustments. Yeah, no worries. Should be ready to go when you are. Thanks, Gil. Oh my god, this is so Hi, cool. Ranger. Wait, is that Korra? Oh yeah, she's down here. Hey Korra! Confirming, Nexus. We're Finalizing go. orders, flight plan, command access. I didn't mean to do Ready that, sorry. You are. Okay, thanks. What about you, Vetra? Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. Alright, cool, 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 cool. It's back here. Is that cereal? Oh, there's like cereal in there! <laughs> oh my god. What about back here? Ew, what is that couch? Oh, why is it like stained like that? Oh my god, we need to have that cleaned up. That is disgusting. Alright, I guess it's time for me to head to the bridge and see who's over here. Oh wait, there's ladders down here. Hang on a second. Wait. I'm just nosy. I want to see everybody. Like, who's my crew? I need to know them. This is very important to me. Who's in here? Can I open this? That's the bathroom. Oh my god, how many doors? Whoa. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Oh. Your quarters. This is my yes, room! Robert is down there too. Oh, sick! Alright, I can customize my clothing? Wait, let me- let me see what I got. Oh shit, put this on! <laughs> put that jacket on! Auto tint, custom tints. Auto tint. Based on the color of your chest piece. That's kind of neat. This is like Alex colors. Let me go with this one, auto tint for now. But I'm wearing this, customized colors. Ooh, and we can change it. I guess because the initiative is like blue, like Andromeda is supposed to represent blue and white. So I'll leave it like this for now. But she looks so much better like this, my god. Oh, wait, what? We got music too? Nice. Alright, we get music. As we can see out the window. Uh, email terminal. Okay, love it. To writer from Carrie DeFessia. Hello, Pathfinder. I'm a freelance vid maker and really could use your help with my latest project. It's going to be historic. I hope, it, uh, just like your mission. Can we meet on the Nexus for a chat? I can explain better in person. Interview. Okay. Alright, neat. So I guess I'll just do that later when we get back. Oh, cool. Alright, I love that I have my own room. Anyway. What's in here? Is this just like the break room or something? I'm assuming that's what it is. 
And here's the bathroom. I'm going to give you guys a tour <laughs> so you know what we're dealing with. Nice, nice. We've got showers. Cool. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Yeah, I can see that. And I will be inviting somebody over when I figure out who to romance. What's the hell is this? They don't want to help me with a couch. Not right now. I'll be, uh, I'll keep you on the list, especially if you're biotic and can drop the weight. Pay you back in beer or whatever else. You're fine. Liam, comments. Are you serious? Suvi. I never joke about comfortable seating. Welcome aboard. Congratulations, Pathfinder Rider, on successful installation of your info board version 3.4. You are now ready to keep yourself and your stuff informed of the latest development aboard the Tempest. Comments. Okay, I've set up everyone's user account. Have at it, Cora. Oh, that's actually cool that we can, like, comment on each other's, like, oh, this is, like, social media. <laughs> that's exactly what that is. Everyone's got, like, a social media account. It's kind of funny. Okay, what's in here? This, oh, I knew Hello, it. This kind of looks like a medical bay. Hey, Lexi. Hello, Ryder. Excuse me. I need to make sure we have everyone's medical files from the Nexus. Come by yeah, after worries. launch and we can catch up properly. Okay, so I can't really talk to everybody like I would want to. Oh, so recite your skills. Okay, I was like, what the F is that about? You've got this. You don't need the old man for a few hundred years, your junior, to tell you you've already, you're ready for this. I'll do it anyway, because I know it's true. You keep your writer safe and I'll do the same with mine. Harry. Probably talking about Scott. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. Hi! You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Ah, you're ship, my pilot. But it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Um, I'm still learning the ropes, I'm gonna be honest. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder, running a ship. You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. Oh, I like I him! He's so positive! <laughs> I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Crossing Galaxies was big too. I mean, let's look on the positive. They said that we couldn't make it, and we did. We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours, unless you've got something to say for the log. Keeping, keep dreaming of a home where Nexus is best home. No, let's go. We got this. Let's keep it positive, because we don't need a great panic. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. I just say I love the soundtrack of Andromeda. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Thank you. Ooh, I just got chills. Like us leaving. Oh my god, this is the first time we're leaving. Okay. To Eos, then. What would have been we're our habitat one? So the field is... outpost puts an end to the idea. Maybe Here's we can Eos. turn things around. Callo, take us in. All right, here we go. I was gonna ask a question. I'm like, what are they? They they can't use relays because there's none here. 
System Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Uh, okay. This is so cool. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Mass Effect's like loading screens when you're traveling between worlds, it just looks so cool. This is Eos. Okay, activate scan. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Do you wish to disembark the Tempest? Yes. Okay, so I haven't put mods on everything just yet, which is kind of bad. Uh oh, I can't get I can't get a can I not put like a sniper here? There we go. And then mods of this. Oh we got we got no mods for it. Uh-oh. All right, well. No odds available for it yet. And consumables. I'll just put these for now since I just got them. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. <laughs> Callow? All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. Wait, what? What? You said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. What the F they was that? Us can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? Uh, still feeling dad's lost. I mean, in all honesty, I feel like this is kind of overwhelming, because like I said, she's so naive compared to Shepard. Shepard has at least some, some, uh, experience before she became you know, dealing with the Reapers and all of that. But Ryder has no idea what the hell she's doing. And you can tell, like, the way she answers it, she's kind of like, oh, you know, we'll just go along with it. So I feel like even if she wasn't as close with her dad as I would like them to be, I just feel like this is, like, too much to bear. When you think about it, when your dad is the one supposed to be in charge instead of you. I think... I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No, I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like, hearing things. Yeah! Other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Liam's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Okay, Suvi, you're making me very interested in you. I don't even know if I can romance her. Like, I don't know who I can romance on our ship, but like, damn, girl. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. You got this, right? This is kind of scary, not gonna lie. Because we don't even know what's over here. Okay, kind of dark, kind of, you know, sand light. There, set us down at this nav point. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda right here. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I know I'm being a little bit slow because I'm trying to like talk to everybody and like learn about uh, the lore and everything like that. So 
Conclusion so far. Uh, I feel like more trouble is gonna be heading Ryder's way just because everything has been a disaster so far. Still think Jian Garson is not dead. I feel like maybe she's missing or something, but I, I just have this feeling she's probably not dead. Hi, Clementine! But yeah, I just feel like... I, I, I'm hopeful that good things will happen, but it is kind of scary to think that maybe something will go wrong uh, since everything has gone wrong so far. But I'm also looking forward to learning more about Alex since he's allowing Ryder to ex experience his memories when we find them. So that should be very interesting. Also love the cameo of Liara because I'm really happy. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!